Lord God said, because he, he lived, he will see tomorrow. Amen. Jesus Christ will live. Amen. And those who believe in him will live forever. Amen. 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 So you have the power. Say to the person in that place, you have the power. Oh. Woo. You're a king, you're I. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. Look at this. In Christ, remember what's happening here. Abraham and Manasseh are fighting. Right? And they say, Ephraim are fighting. Look at it. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. In the NIV version, it says here, For he himself, Jesus, for he himself is our peace. He has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier that divided the wall of hostility. <coughs> Jesus divides the wall of fighting or infighting between two things. Now, if you look at it on uh, the New Living Translation, NLT translation, it says here, For Christ himself, Hallelujah. Has brought peace to us. He united what? The Jews and the Gentiles. Okay, those that belong to the to the to the nation of, of the of Israel, the Gentiles into what? One people when in his own body on the cross he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. He broke down also the wall of Manasseh and the wall of Abraham. You want to have peace? With everybody, regardless of the religion, have Jesus. That's what the Word of God says. He is our peace, but broken down every one. Amen? Amen. Dapat po, sabi nga ni Sister Kalina, bakit po magandang that? It's our continents. I'm sure we have problems. Raise those hands without problem. Man, right? Raise those feet that have problems. I'm sure. If you have four, who will raise those feet? He is our peace. Who is broken down? Everyone. He is our reconciliation. The intensity of pursuing things in life should not be able to help, but should be able to help us unite things rather than to divide it. Amen? Number two. Number two. So first one, keep your keep your keep your peace. So gusto mo keep your peace. Number two, keep your character. In spite of what you want to do in life, you want to become the richest person, brother and sister, you have to keep your character. Do not change who you are. Only to the better, probably. Who you are is more important than what you have. All things shall pass away, but His word shall remain. Hello? Yes, it is important for us to have a lot of things in life. Amen. How many of you don't want to have anything in life? Raise your hand. Everybody wants something? But what you are or who you are is more important than what you have. Let's go now to four, verse 4. Hanggang 9 lang po, Pastor. Nang 4 pa lang tayo. Gideon. What does Gideon have? He has 300 men. These are not ordinary men. The Word of God says these are valiant men. Valiant means they are brave. They are not afraid of anything. They will do anything just to do things for the glory of God. Look at this. He has 300 men yet exhausted, yet keeping up the pursuit, came to the Jordan and crossed it. Brothers and sisters, how many of you tired? Raise your hand. Let's be honest. I am tired. Hello? Yung iba wala? Okay, Superman? Sometimes I'm tired. If only right now I can say, Lord, just take me away without the pain. We are all exhausted. But look at Gideon. He was so focused. Yet he was tired. He was pursuing the enemy. He will not give up. One of my staff yesterday, I mean two, two days ago, or rather last Friday. Last Friday, yes. Last Friday. Filipino staff. His wife died. Because he had cancer. Some of you know that, that person because we've been praying for, for that person in Tawang. Angie. Finally, she gave up, or she gave in to death. 
But you know what my, my, my staff said to me? You know? He said, you know, sir, my wife, because I told him, well, it's good for you, at least you already, you know, she's already rested, and you will also rest. You know, I tried to console him when he came back to the office the other day. I told him, at least you are rested. You know, one thing I admire about my wife, this is what he said, Glenn, his name is Glenn. You know one thing I admire about my wife? That even in the last, 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 last second, she did not give up. She's already palliative for how many months? Palliative means she's just been taking care of just to live. But he said, even in the last minute, she tried to open her eyes and say everything is okay. Brothers and sisters, we are also exhausted, but we have to keep on our pursuit. We have to glorify God. We have to come to the Lord. We have to, we have to, to serve Him with all our hearts. Are you hearing me? That's what it's all about. Do not give up. In verse 5, he said, to the men of Sukkot. So he went there. He, he, he crossed the Jordan. And then one of the, one of the towns that he went to is the, is the town of Sukkot. And the town there, he said, give my troops some bread. They are so tired. Give them bread. You know what they said? I am worn out because I am still pursuing the big fish, which is Seba and Salmuna. This is, this is his point. He doesn't lose his character in spite of all these things that is happening. He is still there focused doing the work of the Lord. You have to recognize, number one, on our, you know, on our pursuit. We have to recognize our weakness. But we should not lose heart. Are you there? Iba sa atin, nagmamata kong yung matapangan pa What's wrong with crying? Men! How many are men here? Raise your hand. Isa isa lang, kalahati ka lang. Hello? How many are men? And how many of you know that it's okay for us to cry when we are so pressed down? Just like the men of David. Remember them? 600 of them, they were crying. Ang papangit. Ang papangit. We have to recognize our weakness. Why? You know, when you recognize your weakness, you give others a chance to be part of you. Let me explain that again. If you recognize your weakness, you give other people a chance to be part of you. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo kaya lagi, kaya kailangan mo may kasama. Hello? How many of you are from a town in the Philippines, at least, I don't know about in Africa, all of those people there are farmers before, but now nobody, everybody's a nurse. <laughs> diba, pinag-aaral mo para maging nurse. Totoo naman, diba? Dati, you know, in, 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 uh, in your town, before, everybody's a farmer, you know. Then, because people think that it is better off to be, to have something more, let's put our children into nursing schools. Now, they're all nurses. Nobody's a farmer there. Now, let me explain something about it. The Jews are not like this. You know, the Jews take pride on what they are doing. They don't jump to another, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you don't aim high, but what I'm trying to say, they don't jump into another occupation for a sole reason that they will have something better than what they have. That's why even Jesus Christ, he was called, what? Jesus Christ, the son of the carpenter. Even Jesus Christ probably is a carpenter or was a carpenter. They take pride. You know why? Because each and every occupation is so important with each other. Kung wala pong karpintero, walang ganito. Kung walang ganito, walang ganyan. Lahat tayo gusto arkitekto. Hello? Amen? Lahat gusto nurse. Walang may sakit. Hello? I don't get me wrong. That's why the Jews, their bonding is so strong. They respect each other's occupation. Kung meron ng baker, hello? Kung meron ng baker, if there is a baker already in the community, brother and sister, they will not send another baker and say, let's have 20 bakers. Let that baker be there and let's be another thing. How do you hear? Tayo lahat gusto natin parang, kaya lang nakakaroon tayo ng problema eh. Tama? Pag nawala ng trabaho sa ospital, lahat tanggal. Lahat, bus. Nung bumagsak, pag when the economy fell down, architects, engineers. I have a friend. Four of them are all engineers and architects. All the family. Hello? So when the economy went down, especially the construction business, all of them lost their jobs. Why? 
Because all of them are in the same job. So, sino lang nagkala ng trabaho? Yung kanilang bunso. Bakit? Tricycle driver. <laughs> diba? Saan lang may trabaho? Oh, ayun, pag umuwi na hot ngayon, ay yung tricycle driver, doon may kinikita. Ayaw ako kayo ngayon. Hello? <laughs> are you getting the point? We have to respect each other's work. That's why in the church, nobody brings down anybody. I don't care if you're a house helper here. Because that's what God has called I'm happy to be part of you. So recognize your weaknesses, but do not lose your heart. Look at the word of God says, Whom I have in heaven but you. Amen? David said, Who am I in heaven but you? You're, you're alone there, Lord. And beside you, I desire nothing on earth. Hallelujah. What a focused person. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Hello? Everything will fail, but who am I have in heaven but you? Even if I don't have anything on earth, I still want you. That's how it is. Focus. Letter B. So after recognizing your weakness and you, you, you know, and do not lose heart, here's, the strength is not on the wicked, but on the righteous. Hello? You know, when you, when, you are, when you are righteous before the Lord, brothers and sisters, let me just explain this. You know the people that are weak or the wicked people? They just look strong, but they're just covering up their faults or their weaknesses. Is it true? Yes. Look at the Word of God. It says here, the Word of God. Psalm 75, verse 9 and 10. But as for me, I will declare it forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Look at this in verse 10. And all the horns of the wicked, the horns symbolize the strength. And all the strength of the wicked, God will cut it off. But the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. Amen. Praise God. So I... Para naman umula na... You think you don't have strength? Brothers and sisters, even though the, the things in the world have their own strength, you are stronger than the wicked. Why? Because you have God. You can call on God. Amen. amen. Number three, amen. Di ba to conclusion, brother? Number three na. Isa na lang. Tabi mo sa tabi mo, hallelujah. So, kanina, keep your peace. Keep your character in spite of the pursuit, the intensity of what you want to do in your life. Lastly, keep your success focused to God. What does it mean? Look at now. Let your success prove yourself. You do not need to advertise. You know, there is a, there is a, a mantra in the world right now. You want to be successful, you need to learn how to advertise yourself. Remember, I keep on telling you, year after year after year, they are nominating, at least in my, in my understanding, they are nominating me, Architect of the Year, Architect of the Year, PRC Architect of the Year. Then when it comes to that, to that level of what are you doing for the community, I keep on saying to them about church, I say that does not qualify. Every year. And who is the one that they have given that? He's not even a practicing architect. Why? But because he promoted himself so good. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bitter. Me too. <laughs> but he promoted himself. He doesn't even design. He talks and he's a good speaker. But those are the people that goes out. Now, I want you to understand this child of God. You do not need to do that. Let God be the one to do it for you. Amen. Look at this. Yeah. Six to nine, huh? Amen. 6 to 9. Amen. Di wala na kasunod yan eh. Oh, 6. Hanggang 9 lang tayo. 9 na ito. 9. Hallelujah. 6 to 9. So look at this. So when Gideon brought, oh, oh, crossed the Jordan, are you here with me? He crossed the Jordan, the first place that he saw is the Sukkot place. He said to them, give, give bread to my men, they're hungry. You know what they said? But the official of Sukkot said, do you already have the hands? of Ziba and Salmuna in your possession, why should we give the bread to your troops? Nahuli mo na ba? Nagawa mo na ba? 
Did you finish your, your, your task? Did you accomplish your purpose? Why should we help you now? Look at this. And look at how Gideon, uh, how Gideon is. He's so cool. Right? Gideon replied. Look at how he replied. He's angry, I'm sure. He, probably he got insulted, right? This is what he said. Just for that. When the Lord has given Siba and Salmuna into my hands, I will tear your flesh with desert thorns in the earth. Look at that underlined word. When the Lord has given. He believed in the timing of God. If I were Gideon, this who are you? You know I've killed thousands. You want me to kill you? But Gideon did not. You know what he said? When the Lord has given. I will wait upon the Lord. I will not fight with you right now. Hintay mo lang. Pag kumanda ako, hindi kita kakausap. Who are you? Hello, how many of you are like that? But Gideon has the right. He is, he is with a valiant man, 300 of them. They can easily smooth, you know, kill all these people in Sukkot or all these officials. But what did Gideon say? Show her the way. When the Lord has given. See? He knows where to put his trust. And look at what happened after that in verse 8. Then he went out. Because these people did not give him anything. Say, okay, yalla, I'll go. So he went there and he went to Peniel. Okay? Peniel. Peniel. Then he went there and he made the same request. He said, guys, my army or my, my, my men are hungry. Can you feed them, please? You know what they said? They said the same answer. Bakit? Tapos na ba? Did you finish your task already? And look at what he answered again. Look at how he is. He did not slaughter them. He did not kill them. He said, When I return in triumph. Brothers and sisters, there's something for us to prove here. We do not need to prove ourselves once there. We need to wait the time the right time for us to be proven. Hindi mo kailangan magbalaki agad. Tama? Wala na kausap. Amen? Amen. I don't mind if they see me like this. Oh, ano yan? Tagal-tagal sa UAE, wala ka pa na iipon. Pati sa mga loob ang iniipon mo. Ano yan? How many of you went home already in the Philippines and then, you know, you saw everybody, you know, for a prospering, quote-unquote, and here you are working here for the last six, seven, eight years and then you have nothing to show except for, you know, a bunch of sale chocolate and all these kind of things. Tama? Ano meron ka niya? Chocolate? Gusto mo? Sale yan. Sa lulu. Wait! Don't feel bad! So what? If God has a purpose for you here, He has a purpose for you here. The question is, what is your purpose? Look! Pastors, sampung taon na ako rito, wala pa mga dito. Ten years, and I haven't even had anything. Well, you have to set your purpose. What is your purpose? Immediate result does not determine the conclusion. Hello? Not because you are falling right now, it will mean you are a failure forever. Hello? Failure now is not failure always. Can you say that to the person you're right? Now, please read this. Failure now is not failure always. Or, in another way, panguha ngayon, pwede ka magpabelo. Hello, are you there? Are you here with me? Not because you failed today. It means you're a failure the rest. I don't care what other people says. Sometimes, an immediate result does not determine the conclusion. Sometimes, people work slowly. God works slowly in your life. But when you entrust to Him, He will just bring you out there. Failure now is not failure always. So don't be afraid to fail sometimes. Right? Pastor ako, it's my habit. Huwag naman lagi. You know, learn from your mistakes. Are you here with me? Baka naman yung lagi ka nalang lagi ka nalang nagkakaroon ng relationship sa may asawa. Tama na. Hello? Are you here? Sorry, I have to think so planned. Lahat ng boyfriend mo may asawa. Huwag ka na ba naman nang wala? Eh, pastor, lahat ko man nang wala. Pakpana. 
Hindi magkaroon mo na ng friends. Hello? With all due respect. Are you here with me? Anything that is wrong will never prosper. Anything that is evil will not be lifted up. Whatever you do. So I don't care if you are working with your hands. A lot of you know what I'm talking about here. We try to put our trust in something that will take, that will prosper us in the shortest possible time. And what happened? We are now suffering. But I like to believe it's a blessed suffering. You know why? Because you are learning to trust the Lord now. And you are learning now to know what is wrong and what is right. So for me, anything that blesses you or anything that brings you closer to the Lord is a blessing. Are you hearing me? They are asking for a result. Did you have the hands of Seba and Salmuna, or Salmuna in your possession? If you shouldn't, why should we feed you? And you know, I, I, I really like the kid. He, he simply said this, two things. When the Lord has given, when I return in triumph. What does it mean here? Look at this. Pursuit things but trust the ways of God and His timing. I could have, Gideon could have killed them easily, slaughtered them, how dare them talk to me like that. But he said, when the Lord has given. So it means he's trusting the Lord. That one day, or that day, or in the next few days, these people will be given into His hands. And that will justify Him in front of all these people. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 31. I like this. Can you read it with me? As for God, His ways is perfect. Let me stop here. Now, how many of you here are good in English? The word is, is what? Present tense, past tense, future tense. Very good, children. <laughs> The word of God is this. As for God, His way is perfect. So it means it will always be like that. Whether what happened to you last year, it's perfect. What will happen to you today, as long as it is God's way, it is perfect. And I like the other word. It says, the Lord's word is flawless. Now, we like this word so much. And we see this in beauty contest. Napa flawless niya. Ibig sabihin, walang wrinkle, walang piso, walang 25. Tama? Flawless. The word of the Lord is flawless. He shields all who take refuge. His ways are perfect. His ways are perfect. Now, what about his timing? So, if his ways are perfect, what about his timing? Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. He has made what? Everything beautiful in its time. Now, I like the word in its time. Usually, we change this word into his time. Tama? Hello? I hear a lot of people. He makes everything beautiful in his time. Okay, fine. Because God can do anything anyway. But look at this. The word is its time. It means that in everything, there is a time for it to bloom into what it should be. And you should learn how to wait. Are you here? Now, I don't mind changing this to His. So what? Because God can do everything, right? He can, he can raise the dead. But the word is its. Things have its own time to bloom. Look at the person your left and your right. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at 